Okay, we're going to show you how you can deploy your twin motion projects to make live using Unreal Engine. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get the twin motion plugins for Unreal. To do that, we go to the Unreal Engine marketplace and we can search for twin motion. The two plugins you're going to need are the Datasmith twin motion importer plugin. At the time of the recording, we're at beta four. So you'll need to get that one installed. And the second plugin is the Twin Motion Content for Unreal Engine plugin as well, uh, Beta 4. And once you've got those two plugins, there's one more thing you're going to need to do. When you're deploying your application to Make Live, you package it for Linux. And in order to support that, you need to go to your program files. So let's just go there now. So C, Program Files, Epic Games, Unreal Engine 5, Engine, Plugins, marketplace and then you'll see once you've installed those plugins they'll live in this location the twin motion to unreal content plugin once you open up that folder and you can right click and then open with notepad the u plugin file your file will look exactly like this what you need to do is add linux to the supported target target platforms no training comma just after the mac entry that we see here once that's done you can save it and then we're all set up, ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is create a twin motion project. So I'm just going to start up twin motion now. Great stuff. So for the demo, we're just going to go to the urban uh, landscapes and we're just going to grab a, a small area. So let's grab, um, so we'll look over here. This looks kind of interesting. Let's grab that. We'll let that download the relevant data and set up our scene. Okay, great, that's all loaded. I'm gonna press four uh, just to speed up the camera. Uh, and there you can see here are our assets all loaded in from that little grab section from the map. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go to file and then save this twin motion project. I'm gonna overwrite my sample one here. So in documents twin motion, I'm just gonna save it as sample and just overwrite that one. Good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna close down twin motion now. Um, and then I'm basically gonna start up Unreal Engine 5. So let's start up Unreal. And for this example, I'm just going to use the ArcViz uh, empty template that actually uh, ships with Unreal 5. Let that initialize. And then on the left hand side, we go to architecture and then we go to blank. And we'll call this twin motion make live. We'll just let that load up. Okay, awesome. So let's do a few sort of setup tasks. So we're gonna get rid of this floor here. We don't need that for now. We're gonna to go to edit and then project settings. And then what we're gonna do is go to maps and you'll see game default map here. We need to change that to be main so that we load in the correct map. Um, and what I'm gonna do just for good measure, even though it's not multiplayer, I'm just gonna change this to main anyway. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable the plugins that we need to uh, basically deploy this to make live and also to be able to import our twin motion uh, project file. So go to edit plugins. And the first one, of course, is pixel streaming. So we tick that one. And then we search for twin motion. And we enable the twin motion import. We'll get a warning for both of these because they're actually currently beta plugins. So let's just click that one and click that one. Once those three are enabled, we restart the editor just so that it can do its thing and make sure they're all loaded in correctly. Good stuff. And so we're now back in Unreal. Next thing we need to do is import our twin motion project. So if we go to the content drop down and go to Datasmith and then click File Import, we can go to Documents and where we saved our file with twin motion, that folder there, our sample twin motion file, we double click that 
and I'm going to keep the defaults for this demo. And then we hit import and we let that run through. Okay, great. That's now loaded into Unreal and I'm just going to zoom out. You can see all of our assets have been loaded in along with the geometry. And then all we have to do is then go to platforms and package for Linux. I'm going to stick it into shipping mode and I'm going to go Linux package project. And then I'm going to create a folder called packages. Select that folder and we'll let that build and run through and I'll jump back in once that's done. Okay, great. Our project is now built for Linux. We now need to, if you've seen our other videos on the channel, uh, basically zip up that um, package project and then it's ready for upload to make live. So let's go to that folder. Let's go to this PC, e, Unreal, and we called it Twin Motion, Make Live, Packages. Right click on the Linux folder and then compress to zip file. Great stuff. So we've got our zip file. I'm going to jump over to make live and we're going to call this tm sample one. I'm going to stick it on a 3080. And yeah, I can allow public asset access so that I can share it with other people in my team. Uh, click next step. And what we can do is just simply drag and drop that into the, uh, the little area there. Hit start upload. And away it goes. I'm going to let that run through and then jump back in the video once it's uploaded. Okay, great. So it's now almost uploaded. What's going to happen now is it's going to redirect us to our launch URL. And that launch URL, obviously, I can share with my team um, so that they can basically browse this uh, twin motion project that's now, you know, going through Unreal Engine and basically being deployed into the cloud. So we're going to let that. Um, run through, it will build the initial cache because we're the first people viewing this project. Uh, and once that's done, we can jump in and uh, see our twin motion project in action all via the browser. So the application is now ready. We can click to join the session. And what we should see is our twin motion projects all rendering correctly. So if we zoom out here, haven't really got the quickest camera, but as you can see, here's the twin motion project that we created and it's all in the browser that you can share. So that's basically it. So that's how you can simply deploy your twin motion projects with MakeLive. Thanks for watching.